Hello guys and welcome to episode 48 of my Rome 2 Total War campaign playing as Assassinate on very hard difficulty. This is Empire Divided and today may be the day that we complete the campaign. I believe I said that in the last episode but we kind of got caught out by the Saxon I had an epic battle which ended up with one of my armies being destroyed. It was like a 2v1. Their spin masters were like the perfect counter to my cavalry and there just wasn't particularly too much I could do after I kind of messed up at the start of the battle. So it is what it is. It happens and um, I mean it doesn't really affect the situation up north anyway since the Saxon are still going to die. We have Avengers First Cav here, we have the Heroes Among Men there and uh, I'm pretty sure the Wooden Men yeah, they've taken a lot of damage previously from a poison provisions from either Parmis or Xerxes, but they've all moved now. Um, let's actually go for another assassination attempt here. I'm pretty sure I did that in the last episode, but I assume because he had an opportune failure, he was able to try again. So we managed to kill off both of those agents. That's actually very important. It stops uh, the heroes among men from being stopped in their tracks, but they actually got hit by a poison provision, so I'm assuming there's an agent that we can't actually see. As for Hydanis, Hydanis, uh, I guess may as well just kill off this chap with the assassination there. No Enemy wounded, that'll do. What about Datis? Um, no, Datis isn't doing anything. We're going to take Katza with Shmini's Commandos. Good old Shmini's Commandos, been with us since pretty early in the campaign. Katza, we're going to change that. To a normal city. We'll get the well in there. Period post. City center. As we usually do. Uh, Forgotten warriors are going to zoom towards Sidamus. Uh, let's put them into normal stance. And we'll run towards that settlement. Cool. We do see Rome moving towards Leptis Magna. Uh, let's just go and defend that again to make sure Rome doesn't take that off me. We have Magiana coming down here and it looks like you know, these navies haven't gone anywhere. Let's just kill them off. He's like two armies. So enslave the captives. We can come down to the second legion as well. I might even recruit myself some extra units. <laughs> yeah, may as well. Um. We have the 4th Legion approaching Pareton Neon, but uh, we're just going to poison provisions there again. That was a success. Oh, any increased in rank. Okay, just go for Spy, and we'll give him Cunning, give him a Courtesan. It's nice. Um, got the Golden Voyagers there, just defending that. And this is the Wave Cutters and the Burning Waters. These guys can both come down towards Alexandria. I'm going to keep them in our waters, in friendly waters, so they get the replenishment, even though it's not going to be very fast at all. Um, what we could do is maybe just merge them and then purchase some more. Okay. As for Hydanis, Hydanis actually just leveled up, so we'll give him the philosophy because he's converting culture. Um, Asami's, Sogdians, I think all of my Maguses are fine. Golden Voyagers staying where they are. All of my armies have moved, I believe. We can use the Fury of Ferrothragna to take Hadramentum, but we're not going to just yet. Uh, basically because I want to have a battle with the Executors of the Fire of Great Purpose. So we'll wait till next turn. Then what we're going to do, use the Executors in battle, then we'll take Hadramentum. And that will be the end of the campaign, I assume. So let's end the turn. See what the Saxon and I do. They might actually attack one of my armies. We might also lose a place in Africa, but I doubt it because both of their armies are absolutely trashed on the water now. Yeah, Gallic Rome didn't attack us. The Saxon and I just running away. It's a shame. I was hoping that I would be able to get a half decent battle, but not to be. The Caledonii moving through my lands. I think we picked up military access with them, or actually no, I think they're military allies aren't they, so maybe they can just 
move through anyway, can't they? That's fine. Alright, so no settlements taken by Hispania Citeria, which is good. Mauritania. Not doing too much, yeah. Just all my satrapies now. But I love just watching them zoom about all over the place. A massive empire filled with armies. I think all of our satrapies are like incredibly loyal right now. Because they've been with us through like so many wars that their relations are like above even like 600 I think. Last time I checked. No way that they would sort of betray me. And even if they did, they'd probably just die. Probably do some damage if their armies were in kind of dodgy positions, but... Yeah, I think we could just wreck them all. I mean, banditry missing supplies and Lugiai. Party has got missing taxes. Military sabotage by Widald. And Trimontium has healing water. Oh, the heroes among men are going to take help in for me. Get into that settlement. Let's raise it. Fix it up. Build ourselves both a training post and a pit mine. Good. Where is that agent? I really want to find that agent that keeps poisoning the provisions. <laughs> it's really annoying. Uh, maybe what I do is just have Parmis on counterintelligence and then we'll have Xerxes hit the wooden men here with a military sabotage. Nice. Uh, we need to have Avengers First Cavalry kind of hunt them down. Gotta be careful with the attrition though. Yeah, that kind of sucks. I have attrition even if I move in my own lands. Alright, time for the executors of the fire of great purpose to come back with a vengeance and attack Veranium. Alright, so we're going to be up against some armoured Germanic swords. Some Dugath spearmen. They have some assault raiders and missile raiders. And they've also got an admiral there. Let's fight this on the battle map since I want to show off these units. I haven't actually had a look at Immortal Infantry Guard yet. Like, I haven't seen these units myself. I think we've maybe seen Royal Archers, which are the like the archers that we have. I haven't seen Royal Armoured, or the Armoured Cataphracts, though. I hope they look really cool. Let's um, start the deployment when it's dry. And we'll have a good look at our units. Okay, let's start off with these Camel Cataphracts. Oh, look at that. Like plate armor on those cataphracts. Very cool. Some of them have like really awesome looking helmets as well. Full face guard mail as well. Awesome stuff. Okay, and then we have of course our general, our Persian horse archers, and here are our Immortal spear guard. Oh yes, look at those face plates. Those visors looking absolutely awesome. Like a full mail like gambeson on them. What about the immortal infantry guard? Just the same but with their swords. Absolutely crazy. Our infantry line is very scary. You would not want to see this on the horizon, I tell you that much. And then, of course, we have our Royal Archers here. Or again, full mail, some of them with faceplate um, and full mail sort of face guard as well. Awesome stuff. <laughs> this is crazy. All right. We also have our two units of armored elephants, which are just really, really awesome. <laughs> this is just going to be great, like crazy. Just have our immortal infantry guard. Actually, I could probably just have like a mortal spear guard, right? Just hop light down the 
down the, each part of the settlement. Yeah, they have hoplite walls available. We also have square formation. What's that? Oh, look at that. How cool is that? <laughs> yes, boys. Perfect against cavalry charges. Anyway, um, let's stop wasting time now and uh, I'll get this show on the road. I'm not sure we need to do too much with our camel cataphracts. They're not actually going to be particularly useful. We'll start the battle. I'll have immortal... My immortal spears come in here and here. Get my royal archers to come up behind them. Then we'll have two units of immortal infantry here. Two units of immortal infantry here. I'll also probably bring one round the right side as well. And I may as well have all my camel cataphracts actually come to the left. And we'll have a Persian horse archers over here. The elephants can come through this left side. And we'll have our general stick with our infantry. Alright, that'll do. Let's speed it up. We'll get a good look at our units in combat. These spearmen spread out quite a bit, actually. Maybe we just want to engage the spearmen we have discovered the enemy's hidden with units. our immortal guard. She may as well just charge into them. Let's just go. Oh! <laughs> that charge there was brutal. We have discovered the enemy's hidden units. All right. We are slaughtering them. I'm not sure what this fella's doing. <laughs> That's really funny. Got more units getting involved. Armoured Germanic swords. But against multiple units of immortals, not really much they're going to be able to do. They are doing some damage. But we've got to remember that we already took damage from the attrition in the first place. Well, let's get into this engagement. We're just taking damage for free there. Our general is under attack. Okay, time for the elephants to charge in there. And we have our Persian archers can come in, and these camel cataphracts can charge towards the main square. All right, let's uh, get my general out of there. Move forwards our archers and hit their Germanic hunters and so on. Gonna put these guys onto guard mode. Oh, we also have quick reload now. The battle is turning in our favour. Very nice. Oh, that charge with the elephants into the back of this engagement. You would not want to be these Germans. You've probably never seen an elephant before if you were one of these Germans. And now you have one just charge into your back line. The work of demons. <laughs> Look at those guys just getting trampled. <laughs> and now we'll charge back into their general. Absolutely trampled. Just all over. And time for the cataphracts to find their targets. I'm not sure how quick cataphracts are. I guess we'll find out. Like, I've never really seen camels ride that fast, but I assume they can be quite fast. Yeah, they're pretty fast. Not bad, not bad. It's going to take quite a lot of friendly fire there. But just in general, we've absolutely annihilated them. Yep, job done, I guess. They do have one unit of Gedrick swordsmen, swordsmen on their way. 
see how mortal awesome infantry do against them. I assume they're going to come over in, come in over here. So let's just get our immortals lined up. Imagine those immortals just staring you in the face as you land your ship. Probably wouldn't want to be there much longer. We're taking the main settlement. I think it's only a matter of time until we win, right? I guess the other thing is that we could do is just like line up our archers. Horse archers get out of the way. One of our units has used all its ammunition. There we go. Getting involved. We like to see. Oh, he took the head off one of my immortals there. These Gedrit swordsmen are not scared of much. Well, maybe they are. Never mind. <laughs> we will end the battle there for a decisive victory. <laughs> the immortal is just too damn scary. They found out they bleed though, but they won't live to tell the tale. Well, there you go guys. The display of Immortal Guard. Immortal Infantry Guard and Immortal Spear Guard. We'll raise Verinium. Veronium. We'll take control of Swibia. Just put a trader there on a pit mine. And that's it. Brilliant. So we have 23,000 now. Um, but all there's left to do is take Hadramentum, and I believe that is victory. Is there much point in playing this out, guys? I don't know. I don't think so. Let's go ahead and aggressive stance. Kill Rome for the last time. Pretty sure we've killed them like four or five times throughout this campaign. Time to raise them. Hadramentum is ours. Is that victory? I assume it will be in the next turn then. We have all of the military victory conditions complete. I guess we need to click end turn and win that way. But before I do, let's just start creating another army for the fun. Just in case I want to play this maybe on my own. Crush the rest of the world. I'm going to get this guy. I start the and we'll reinstate the legacy of the Watchman with the guy in Avspa. We fight for you, my lord. We're gonna give ourselves a couple of Indian elephants. We'll give ourselves some camel cataphracts. I guess I'll just make it the same as the other one. Immortal infantry guard. Um, immortal spear guard. Royal archers couple of Persian horse archers and what am I missing? I don't even know. Let's compare. I have five units of a mortar infantry guard don't I? Let's get in another one. 
And we'll just let them recruit over the next few turns. It's only going to take, actually, what? Three turns to make that army? It's a pretty scary army. Used up all my cash in the process. Um, not really sure if I want to move the rest of my units. It seems like a bit of a waste of time, but oh well. We'll just take out the second legion here. Good fight. Want to resolve. And they're sunk. Good. We will enslave them. And I guess we'll just go and sit in Siotis in order to fully replenish. All right, as for our agents, just kill off that chap. We will get Datis to hit this army. Come on, wreck the baggage train there. Oh, I actually failed to. Never mind. Let's continue with the military sabotage. Nice failure there again. Gonna leave all my maguses. Now oh, it's up to the burning waters and the wave cutters to move towards Alexandria. I guess we could pick up some maybe some mercs. Go for the attack there. It's fine. But warriors can take Sidemus. Raise that and take it. Fix it up. Build a couple of religious gatherings there. Just to praise us for winning the campaign. <laughs> We're going to have Shmini's commandos come and try and take out the 10th Legion. And what about the children of Pani? Children of Pani can just stay where they are. And that's pretty much it. Let's move on to the next turn, possibly the final turn. Oh, we have unassigned traditions. And the executors of the fire of great purpose. Here we go, in indomitable infantry. Let's carry on. So assuming that the end turn goes in our favour, I guess we win. For one last time, hopefully, <laughs> we get to see all our armies of our satrapies and allies roaming the world under our command. I believe they are all following our war target. I'm not even sure if I have a war target anymore, so they might just be doing their own targets now. Because I think the last war target I set was in on Hispania Citeria at uh, Nova Carthage, but that's taken now, we own that. And I'm still surprised that Lusitania hasn't declared war on us. They must absolutely hate us for destroying Hispanic Citeria and Gallic Rome, because they were allies. And they were client states of Gallic Rome. I think they possibly still are. I think Margian is going home with most of their armies. Pakistan, my weakest satrapy, not really being very helpful throughout the campaign. See if Bosporu decides to take a settlement or two. Nope. That's it. And that's victory. Bravo. That's it. Considering Hormids is supposed to be like 57 years old, he's looking pretty young for his age. Anyway, there we go. 115 turns that took. That wasn't actually very long at all. We are currently hold 110 settlements. We lost 31 throughout that, and probably minor settlements mostly. Well, actually, probably a mix. Because in Rome 2, 
your garrisons are rather small. <laughs> Factions encountered was 31. We destroyed 25 of those. That's pretty crazy. We have seven client states slash satrapies. Current wars, 19. And most wars was 19. We had most trade agreements was 16. Our economy was, well, we total income was 3,238,553. Let's have a look at units destroyed. 1,927 units destroyed. That's like entire units. And total units lost was 179. We did have a couple of losses along the way. Battles fought was 200. We fought 47 personally. There wasn't many battles that I played towards the start of the campaign. And... Um, that kind of made things a lot quicker, I think. But anyway, we have battle cap captives enslaved was 14,908, and we've executed 10,025. <laughs> for the time, for like 280 AD, that's a lot of people. That's a lot of people. <laughs> and we definitely used our agents very well. We got... 180 agent actions and 144 were successful. Really, really nice indeed. Fantastic campaign, guys. Really hope you enjoyed this Empire Divided campaign. Now what's going to be happening is I'm going to be moving on to my Empire Total War Great Britain campaign going for world domination on this channel. And that was decided by the poll on my main channel, Vulcan HD Gaming. So hopefully you guys are looking forward to that. As soon as my Wood Elf campaign finishes, I'll replace that with something else as well, which is likely to be more Rome 2. So if you're looking forward to more Rome 2, then pl please make sure you stick around. That's all for now, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next series. Goodbye.